am Anupama, Quality Analyst at Implant Genesis. We are an upcoming Indian dental manufacturers who are situated in Kerala near Adhraputi waterfalls. We do manufacture a lot of implants and accessories, various specifications in dimensions. So here we use titanium grade 5 raw material for the manufacture of implants and accessories. The main process involved in our plant is like manufacturing. The first process comes like manufacturing where we undergo, where the implant is undergoing milling, threading, shaping. And after that it goes to the primary cleaning which incorporates uh, ultrasonic water bath treatment followed by drying. And to the next stage it is moving to the blasting. In blasting the implant surface is made rough which is the most critical process happening inside the implant. After blasting we are moving to the next step that is secondary cleaning. Here there are some treatments in order to remove the remnant of the hydroxy appetite. So here what happens is the implant is treated for uh, ultrasonic water bath treatment and after that it is moving to the next treatment that is DI water treatment which is ultimately going to an isopropanol treatment and after that it is go undergoing drying at a QC check where it ensures there is no hydroxy peptide remnant on the implant and after that it is moving to the primary packing this primary packing happens inside the lambdar airflow cabinet so here the implants are going inside a bottle where it is tightly packed and sealed and after this process it is moving to the next process which is secondary packing here, the primary packed implants are placed inside a paper box along with the instructions for use and a paper chip which is a label for doctors. So after secondary packing, our implants are ready for gamma. Here, uh, we are sending it outside plant and after that gamma, it is ready to see. So uh, the whole process, like uh, the movement of the implant and accessories, the whole process happens in such a way that only a unidirectional material flow happens. We have pass box system, it is helping a unidirectional material flow. We don't have a man flow in order to prevent the cross contamination inside a clean room. The whole of this process which I explained happens inside a clean, clean room, ISO 14644 which is designed specifically for medical device glass C. So here the clean room floors are epoxy coated and the walls are powder coated. This makes it easier to be cleaned. And we have covings which makes the edges blunt and it is easy to see the dust and clean it up. So every room is assigned a particular ISO class. Uh, machine room happens to be in ISO class 8 which is 1 lakh particle per million also the raw material room have the same class after that we are entering into primary cleaning blasting secondary cleaning and primary packing this all is very critical process and this happens to be in class 7 which is 10,000 area all the bus boxes and lander airflow cabinet happens to be in ISO class 5 which is 100 particle per million the laminar airflow cabinet, what we have got, is having a vertical airflow. All the rest of the area except this come under ISO class 9, which is a ventilated area. So uh, the, all of the ISO class 7 area is isolated from the rest of the area with the help of this airlock system which is maintaining a proper pressure such that there is no mixing up of air in between them. Factoring happens to be blasting part. This is because here the implant surface is made microporous increasing its surface area for Austin degradation. This happens in a swam rotary operative machine. Every implant one by one is getting blasted using a reservable blasting media which is a hydroxy appetite. 
The hydroxy epitype we use is maintained to a size of 300 microns in order to maintain a proper roughness. The RA value of the implant is to be maintained 1.9 in order to ensure its uniformity. So in order to maintain every process, every feature in this, we do regular validation procedures. Here we do our best of the manufacturing part to support the rest of the perspectives helping in a long lasting smile on every patient approaching us.